bands in Europe. I suspect it's also the second largest in the world. I don't know. I think that there's one in the United States which could be larger than this. Now, this has been the first weekend, and over the first weekend, there were 80,000 people here, which is uh, considering the problems that we're having during COVID, for example, when uh, in the last uh, previous, maybe not last year, but the, pre uh, the year previous to that, 10,000 people uh, were allowed into Dusseldorf, which is bigger than here, and it's a large part is outside. Um, so that is, I think, uh, quite quite an achievement in the circumstances. Also, in the circumstances, which is also uh, quite an achievement, is uh, the fact that people actually do want to, to come in the current economic uh, circumstances. Uh, we've seen sales of uh, motorhomes and camper vans which are down. Uh, they're down uh, because of uh, two reasons. One is the problems with supply, which you'd expect things to come down by. But in, from the second point of view, it is also down because of the cost. The cost has been caused by a variety of unusual economic circumstances. Uh, and from uh, the difficulties in supply, which are, uh, have put prices up, the fact it's difficult to find people to actually do the work, which is related to inflation amongst the work. Hello, Jason. And, um, and uh, also, um, because also of the general economic uh, uh, circumstances uh, um, which relate to things such as high energy prices and above all it's uncertainty uh, over the future. Anyway, I, I will do a video on prices and uh, explain it within the economic background that uh, we now have. Okay, what I'll do is I'm going to take you around this one hall. Uh, in this hall here, uh, we've got vehicles from um, two companies. That's uh, Heim the Heimer Group and uh, Trigano, which are the two largest, I would, I would say, um, or two of the largest three, shall we say, in Europe. This was the Rapido Group as well, uh, but it's not in this hall. And um, so we'll have a look at them. And for, for the purposes of that, I'm going to turn the camera around while, because uh, you don't really want to look at me, you'll want to look at vehicles. So here's the camera going around. And we'll start off with a walk around. We have here uh, some Bursner vehicles. That's a Bursner integrated motorhome. And, uh, but now it is seeming yet rather fancy. Hang on, I've got, a, I've got my, oops, sorry, sorry. I've got this gimbal in the way. I'll move my camera over a bit so the gimbal doesn't come into it. So that sort of winds me up. Now, if you've got any questions about anything, what I'm doing, if you see anything you like, say anything you're rather fancy, then do do let me know. Now, uh, what we got, uh, and this is one of the trends uh, for 2023, is this character here, which is the Ford Transit Custom. And everybody is trying to do vi video uh, videos, probably in videos as well, uh, but vehicles on the Ford Transit Custom. The thing with the Ford Transit Custom is, is the vehicle is available. It comes in two sizes, uh, which are being used for vehicles. One 495 and the other one of uh, 535 centimeters approximately. And those are on the, f um, the, the, the 535, I think, are great tiny vehicles and those which are on the larger size. Oops, I've done it again. I keep touching the thing. What have I done here? There we go. Sorry. Oh, the screen. Sorry, sorry. It's a problem with the camera. Uh, so here we have an example of Copper C500 from Bosna. It's a uh, the VW camper on the Ford Transit. And what does have a kitchen. It has a fridge. It doesn't update it. It's got these rails so you can sort of move things around in and out as you please. It's got a seat with a bed on the back and that really is more or less it. It hasn't got a toilet, it hasn't got a uh, anywhere to shower yourself. So I'm not so keen on things like this, but what I am keen on is the larger models, which do have the uh, facilities for washing oneself. And, oh, is it busy? Hello, Luke. Yes, it's, I would say it's very busy. I mean, today I didn't even want to go out and film. Now, the thing is this, it's uh, 20, about what, 20 minutes left before kicking out time so that uh, that does uh, make it a little bit um, 
a little bit uh, less busy, but earlier I wouldn't have filmed because of the amount of people uh, that was that were here. Oh, we'll have a look at this one here. Now, I just mentioned the uh, smaller size on the Ford Transit. This is the larger size of the Ford Transit, 535 centimeters. I use this approximately because I'm 536, 537. What you see you've got here is though, you've got a toilet there and uh, Sporky, you're gonna have to maybe have to wash yourself in the sink, but it's better than uh, nothing. Some don't even have a shower in some units. And there's your kitchen, there's your fridge at the back, and the kitchen is around the side. Uh, so that, um, is, if it's got a toilet, then it's what uh, it's what's called self-contained, and uh, that is, I think, um, uh, the the important issue here and it's not just the Ford Transit custom it's also the Ford Transit as a base vehicle you may have seen a video I did a couple of days or posted a couple of days ago with uh, the uh, Bosna uh, with the Ford Transit but what I really like about the Ford Transit is that it offers uh, far more space uh, than the Fiat does so you've got it goes up higher and it's got a slightly smaller um, footprint but uh, but it, it uh, I really think it offers so much more uh, now some people say I don't like Fords other people don't like Fiat quite honest I don't really think there is uh, that much difference as far as the engine reliability is concerned it's a totally different though driving experience in my opinion and uh, I'm sure that people are far more ex experienced and know more about these things than I do but um, uh, I find that the Ford is super, super light, and uh, whereas the, um, the the Fiat, it's I mean it's not it's not un, not unlight, and also right look right so the copper comes out of Bosna French factory where all the French is made for the rest of the Bosna range, yeah yes yes so it's 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 made in France uh, as is, as a common mobile for example, and. Uh, now, um, one of the things, so I did po post this a couple of days ago, this thing here, this Eliso 644, it is, it's, on, it's on the Fiat base, but it is absolutely outstanding rear, um, rear lounge. Uh, I think that is really quite good. Anyway, I don't admit it seems as though I'm working for the sales staff of Bosna, so I'll move on here to LMC and show their... Um, uh, well, I would do if somebody wasn't in it. Uh, they're, they're, they're camper vans. Now, obviously, it's the same company. Both companies part of the Heimer Group. This is what's called an Innovan 590. And it's all right. But what I'm going to show you, first of all, is this really clever thing here. They've got this... If I can pull it across. This is the mosquito net. But what it's got is this thing here. And the point of having this is so it fits up here because the doorway is different in the uh, transit to the uh, the Fiat for example and so because it's got this bit here the fly net doesn't fit in so they've added this perspex at the end which if I pull that over like that you see it fits in quite nicely and should stop the insects getting in they'll get in anyway but at least that'll keep one or two of them out potentially I hope I think that's really clever. And um, you see uh, burston has got some, and there's another company, Escapes, oh, I've forgotten who it is now, but anyway, someone else has got a similar um, solution to this, but it's uh, similar but different, but so it shows they probably thought of it differently, and I can't remember what it is. Uh, but anyway, just, just to make the point that I said earlier about the, the Ford, I'm now gonna turn this around. You see, uh, there's me inside the camper van, and look how much space there is up here. And I'm going to turn the camera back around again. Look, you can get these, uh, you can get all of this storage as well, thanks to the, uh, thanks to the height of the camper van. Uh, so that, it, that's what this extra space means inside. I don't like ledges like that. I think it's a complete waste of time, but, uh, but all the same, you get the, get the, get the point. Not only that, uh, there seems to me to be a little bit more space under the bed than you would normally expect in a, uh, a van 
of this nature in my opinion i might have got that one wrong but it does seem that way to be a bit higher so it gives you so much extra i'm a big believer in keeping a small footprint as much as possible but going as high as you can the disadvantages are with height number one is that uh, the vehicle uh, 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 the vehicle is um uh, sorry <laughs> it burns more fuel so for every seven centimeters is approximately one kilometer per hundred kilometers uh, what sorry one liter per hundred kilometers more fuel approximately approximately and uh and uh in in the second thing it makes it less less stable now i've got a leica van over here which i shall now sorry look uh looks find out what lmc stands for um, I can't think of anything to say which is vaguely amusing. So, Luke, what does LMC stand for? <laughs> okay, whilst, whilst we're getting the, waiting for the answer for that one, here in the, is this a, look at that, rear lounge camper van from Leica. Hey, you'll never guess how much this costs. Go on, it's a six figure sum for, for a Fiat Ducato camper van. Uh, it's nearly 100,000. And uh, right, uh, so Leica's here, but they didn't bring many vehicles with them, probably because I haven't got many in stock at the moment. Uh, motorhomes here, this one here, this Creos, semi-integrated, L500,009. It's 180,000 euros. Uh, anyway, I've done a video on it because we're not going to get into it now. Uh, they will come over here. LMC, oh, Lord Munsterland Caravan. Sorry, I didn't know that. I, I, Oh, hang on, did I? I knew it was Munsterland Caravan, but the L is Lord? Okay, here we've got some... Yeah, okay, okay, very good, okay. Okay, we've got some Heimer vans here, as one might expect, including this uh, this new thing here, this Venture, uh, Venture S, which looks great, but it's uh, possibly a... Uh, totally impractical, of course. I mean, <laughs> um, and uh, we've got uh, you know, some of my other sort of favourite vans are here as well. So anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll you have to see that a bit later. Still, people here waiting to get in, and there you go. The four by four Grand Canyon. I really like that vehicle. We've got death lifts over there, and because of the music, I'm going to have to walk around here now this morning I was walking around a hall and the church bell started ringing and I thought hey that sounds really nice and so I, I thought I walked around with the church bells on and I got a I got a, um, a copyright strike it's no it wasn't a strike it was a warning that I mean the money's going to go to somebody else because I was filming uh, uh, while the church bells anyway I won't be that I won't be publishing the video uh, in view of the fact that uh, the church seems to have a uh, um, some kind of copyright on its uh, on its music. Anyway, good. So um, there we have. Uh, I, I should have done a. Uh, I'll take you around these other ones on another day, which will include, I think, uh, Trigano, and then we'll have a walk around other places on other days. So here's a quick look at some of the Leica stuff. Leica. Um, oh, here's some, a little story here. Leica was the name of the dog. It was the first dog in space. And this poor dog was uh, came from some pound somewhere in the Soviet Union. Now, sent off into space, and this dog would have had a really horrible death in space because the dog didn't know how to fly the rocket. And I would take it off into space, but it never got back. And I've got some notes on this. Now, got, there's going to be a video on the life and death of this dog on my history channel when I get round to actually doing it. Okay, so here, I'll take you this Innovan, I'll show you this LMC Innovan before. There you go, mit Einzelbetten, so it means with single beds. Uh, that is possibly better for people who are tall because usually these single beds are around two meters in length. I can't remember what it is in the case of uh, LMC. Okay, good. So. I think I'll finish the day with this shot of this uh, Leica. Here, well, walk, no, I'll 
before I finish, let's go and have, we'll make this the last one. We'll have a look inside, because it's. Quite, I think this is quite a nice van, even though it's, uh, it looks nice anyway. Even though it's a horrendous price. I mean, Leica vans do, they do always look pretty good inside. Mind you, that other one's better. The, the one that costs 180,000, well, 880,000. That one's really nice inside. There you go, there's a Leica van. And the poor dog died to give its name to a motorhome brand. There you go. Okay, thanks very much for being here. So I'm going to I'll be in Stuttgart until um, this thing ends, which is in a week's time. And then I think I will be, it depends, I haven't made my mind up yet, because I'm, I'm due in Kharkiv, or, uh, so I'll be there. Have I found Maxi chassis issue on the Ducato? Uh, right, so uh, Luke asked me to find out what's happening with the Maxi chassis on the Fiat Ducato, and I haven't done it yet. Uh, but I haven't found anybody from Fiat to ask about this yet, but I will do it. Eventually, I'll do it. <laughs> so, thanks very much for being here. Uh, with me today and uh, so I'm gonna now go off and, and do some uh, videos which will be published sometime this year who knows when so for, for the moment it's all the best from me at CMT Stuttgart uh, in Germany bye for now Hi Silvio.